hello students today in this video we will study the maclaurin's theorem first we will see what is the statement for the maclaurin's theorem what does the statement say it says let f of x be a function of x which can be expanded in ascending powers and let the expansion be differentiable term by term any number of times then that means if we are given a function f of x of x then what we have f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash of 0 plus x cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash of 0 plus so on till this term x raised to n upon n factorial the nth order derivative of f of x at x is equal to 0 and so on. Now what are these terms in this expansion? f of 0 we are given the function f of x if we substitute x as 0 in the given function what we get is f of 0 then f dash of 0 if we differentiate f of x what we get is f dash of x and if we substitute x as 0 in f dash of x we get f dash of 0 Similarly, we will get f double dash of 0, f triple dash of 0 and this is the f n of 0 that is the nth order derivative of f of x when x is equal to 0. So, this is the statement for Maclaurin's theorem and this is the expansion for a given function or we can say this is the Maclaurin's series. Now we have yet another form of the Maclaurin's series. We will see that if y is equal to f of x this is the given function then we can write f of 0 as y suffix 0 that means the value of this function when x is 0 it can be written as y suffix 0 then we can have f dash of 0 that is the first order derivative of f of x when x is 0 it is f dash of 0 it can be written in this form y suffix 1 at x is 0. Similarly, we can write f double dash of 0 as y suffix 2 when x is 0. This is nothing but the second order derivative of the given function f of x when x is 0. This is another form to express it. Similarly, we can write the nth order derivative of the given function when x is 0 as y suffix n when x is 0. And then we can write the Maclaurin's theorem as y is equal to. Now here what we have the first term it is f of 0 and f of 0 is written like this y when x is 0. So, for f of 0, we are writing this term y when x is 0. Then what we have x into f dash of 0. So, what we will have here x into y1. This is the first order derivative. For f dash of 0, we are writing y1, y suffix 1 when x is 0. Then we have x square upon 2 factorial f double dash of 0 f double dash of 0 can be written as y suffix 2 it is the second order derivative of f of x when x is 0 
we have then x cube upon 3 factorial this f triple dash of 0 this can be written as y suffix 3 that is the third order derivative of f of x when x is 0 and this can be written further as x raised to n upon n factorial. Now this nth order derivative of f of x at x is 0. This is written as y suffix n when x is 0. So this becomes yet another form of the Maclaurin's theorem. We can use either this form or we can use this form depending upon the numericals and what has been asked. This term x raised to n upon n factorial into the nth order derivative of the given function f of x when x is 0. This is the n plus 1th term in the expansion and it is known as the general term. So, we have seen the Maclaurin's theorem, its statement, how it can be expressed. This is also known as the Maclaurin series. This is one form of expressing the Maclaurin's series and this is yet another form of expressing the Maclaurin's series. Thank you.